Well, everybody, it has been a while since I sat on this couch. Actually, I don't even know if I've sat on this couch for a video, but it is currently one in the morning, and welcome to Tyler's Real Fishing. <laughs> now, you may be asking yourself, self, Tyler, what are you doing at one in the morning, sitting at your couch, talking to your camera with all the lights on? You should be in bed. Well, first off, welcome to college. This is <laughs> my roommates. What are they doing? But it is time for another college vlog. Now, what this means for this channel is, of course, I'm going to incorporate some fishing aspect into this video, but this is going to be more about my college life. I go to school at Texas A&M University. I'm a senior in college. It is winding down. Our time is as college students and roommates is, is sadly winding down. You'll meet some of the other roommates here in the video here in a second, but I've always been a bike rider on campus. Now, Texas A&M's campus is pretty large, and so I like to save time. I hate walking to class, so I like to ride my bike to class. And I was a dingus and uh, did not have a lock on my bike for a solid six months, and somebody finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna steal your bike. <laughs> no, get out of here. No, get in grief. Why do you right. get to sit in the middle? Because I'm the star. <laughs> I thought, you know what? I'm going to reach out to a company that makes some pretty awesome products. That way I can actually get to class faster than I could before. we got lots of dogs in here. Good grief. And that company that I hopefully will be working with for many, many years in the future for some cool video ideas is Bird. Say It On 3. One, two, three. Bird. Swagtron. Swagtron. <laughs> so this video is sponsored by Swag Cycle. We're going to skip the whole unboxing and just do it real quick. Three, two, one. <laughs> what is this? What is that? Oh. So here is the product that I will be using to speed away every to every one of my classes. And that is the swag cycle. This thing is an electric bicycle that I'm assuming you plug in the wall, you charge this thing, and it lets you go speedily around campus, around town, whatever you want to do. But I know, of course, you guys want to watch me put together this bike. So we're going to skip to the part where I'm riding it. We'll see you there. So I had these cool intentions of filming a dope b-roll segment of this bike in slow motion, but it got really cold. Texas weather in the winter is crazy because it'll be 70 degrees one day and then like 32 the next. So it's like 40, 42 today, it is freezing. And I know you guys up north are gonna say, Tyler, it's not cold at all. Well, to a Texas boy who's used to warm weather, that's really cold. Now I believe this thing reaches like a max speed of like 18 miles an hour, so hopefully, We'll get to class even faster than I used to. I'm trying to set up my Joby inside of my bike. This is very difficult. But that's, oh my gosh. I just broke it. What the heck kind of quality is this? Here we go, boys and girls. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. The, uh, the first class I have today is graphic design. All semester long, we've been designing things. Uh, graphically. It's been a fun class. Honestly, it's one of the classes that I've enjoyed most about college uh, just because it's actually applicable to what I do. A lot of the rest of the classes that I take aren't necessarily like applicable to what I do, but graphic design is like directly applicable. So that's been fun for sure. Now I've never actually vlogged inside my classroom before. So I know a few friends in my class kind of know about the whole YouTube thing, but not everybody does. So let's head inside. The, game, the, game the Jumbotron? Yeah. I was up there. Oh, <laughs> it's like nobody in our class today. Or am I early again? Really? I don't really know. No, I'm not really early. Am I allowed to vlog in class? Are you recording this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I will make sure you're not eating when I film. So we're sitting here in design. All my classmates are laughing at me. At the ones that are remaining in class. But I'm designing this coffee company thing. It's basically a logo for this bottle. So. If it ends up being a successful company, I'll let y'all know. Probably not, but we'll see. Goodbye. Cool. Okay, Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. So like the Head out into the cold. I stayed in class a little bit longer than I usually do so I could finish my project, or at least not even finish, get started on my project. But let's head on the bike. Run, friend, run. Everybody's in a hurry. Make the bus, go. I'm rooting for you. Mr. I would say this is like riding a mini moped with little pegs for your feet. <laughs> and see, of course, I'm getting passed by somebody on their bike. But he's expending energy. I am not. And I'm not calling myself lazy, but it is nice to be able to just chill, you know? I have to bike uphill, just press the gas and go. Now you may ask, Tyler, why are you stopping at the stadium to talk to the camera? Well, I thought that I'd take a minute just to explain like why I love this school. This school is Texas A&M University where I go to college. I'm a senior here, I love this place, and kind of the reason why I love it is because it is a big atmosphere. We have a huge stadium, we have a huge student body, we have so many things to do, and so like, 
I, first of all, college is not for everybody, but then of course, not everybody is meant for a big state school like Texas A&M or like UT or like Alabama, whatever school you guys like. I just love the atmosphere here at A&M and I love big schools. And so of course, I say if you have the opportunity to go to a college, whether it's for fishing, for just regular education, whatever it is, uh, I would implore you to do that, especially if you get to explore such a huge place like Texas A&M. So I'm gonna keep driving. I just thought that I would explain that real quick. I mean, look at that, that's insane. So a very cool feature about this electronic bike here is that it actually has a breakdown mode. So if you hit the handle right here, the bike actually completely breaks down on its side. Boom. So that it is fully transportable inside my car. No need for any crazy bike racks hanging off my truck. Got my swag contained. Just got home. We are gonna walk inside, see if any roomies are home. I think Keegan and Rhett might be home. Don't know where Sean and Tyler are. But we'll just gonna make some food, maybe ride the bike around, have Keegan ride it, see if he can fit. Oh, I hear dogs. I hear doggos. <gasps> Hello! Finley, come here. So we are back here at the table. I get a few questions on social media about what a college cuisine looks like. What do you eat when you're in college? Well, here at an off-campus housing, which we live in a house, me, Rhett, Sean, Keegan, and Tyler, we like to cook. So right now I cooked some sweet potato fries, some fresh tilapia and rice with some sort of, I don't know, mango sauce. You having fun there, Zeus? <laughs> and Rhett is currently making a pie, I think. Yeah. Rhett works the, uh, the night shift at the hospital as a service, not a service writer, sorry, that's it. A, a scribe. I guess you're technically writing down services. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat some lunch, maybe watch some Ben Shapiro show or whatever I'm feeling, some Jimbo Fisher podcast, and uh, we'll see you guys here in a second. So we are here in the garage, and as you can see, it's a mess. <laughs> so we literally have like five rods here, three rods here, 12 rods over here, literally boxes of baits all over the place. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Instagram q and I asked you guys to ask me some questions regarding YouTube, regarding fishing, whatever you guys wanted to ask me, and I have plenty of fire questions. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna organize tackle and get myself prepped for a fishing day tomorrow to film hopefully a viral video. And uh, I see we get started. Uh, coming from Nolan Savage, he asks, do you ever wanna fish the Bassmaster Classic? Now the answer to that question is of course a yes. Now, if you aren't familiar with what Bassmaster Classic is, it is the world's most prestigious bass fishing tournament, uh, the biggest stage in the sport, and basically the biggest money winnings, besides the new MLF stuff that's coming up. It's just, it's really still the most prestigious bass fishing tournament in, in history. And so, of course I want to fish it, but it comes down to, will I be able to fish it? And so, really the best chance I think that I have is college fishing, and that's next year. But the problem is the only guy that fishes it from college is one guy every single year, and that's the guy that basically shows himself to be the best angler in the entire country. And so, you have to win or get top 10% of a regional, you have to uh, get top I believe, four teams of the championship, and you have to win a March Madness style bracket. So it's, it's very, very hard to, uh, to be the college angler that represents the classic, but hopefully that could be me one day, hopefully it's next year. And yeah, the answer to that question is of course, it's a guaranteed $10,000, it's the biggest stage in the world, weighing in your fish in front of like 10,000 people is incredible, but uh, definitely a long shot, but I'm hoping for it. I'm just kind of realizing now that my backdrop is literally a water heater, so I apologize for the lack of scenery here. I'm in my uh, garage at my house here in college, so not a whole lot of cool places to talk to the camera. But we got a few more questions for you guys, and I got quite a lot more organizing to do. So honestly, I might just finish off these questions before we even get back to tackle. Have you ever been so far as to even pretend to even want to go do more like? Yeah? Isaac Stolle asks the question, bucket list fish to catch in the U.S. freshwater. Now, I've caught most of the fish in the United States that live in freshwater besides, I think, one or two species of stripers uh, and then a bunch of trout. And so I'd say either trout or if we're going to count Alaska as the U.S., which technically it is part of the U.S., but it's, you know, pretty spread apart. Um, I think I'd love to catch some salmon up there in the rivers. And of course, I'd love to catch some big brown trout. That'd be that'd be pretty fun. So probably my bucket list fish are either salmon or trout. Now, comment below if I'm missing something crazy about U.S. freshwater fish. I've caught, I've caught muskie and, and walleye. I, I think I've caught everything. So Abel Fisherman 06 asks, so why does gas cost so much? Abel, if I knew, I'd tell you, man. <laughs> I wish gas got gas cast. I wish gas cost less. Mr. Trump, if you can make gas keep going down, fantastic. Okay, let's settle this. A&M or Baylor, according to your girlfriend, A&M's a good second choice. Well, of course, she does go to Baylor, so she enjoys her Baylor Bears, but she's dating an Aggie, so I think she knows where her, her heart truly lies.
And also we've got Caden Slankard asking, show us more of your girlfriend. Trust me, she'll be on the channel soon, I promise you guys. It just hasn't worked out with us being long distance to film a video yet. We've had very limited time together. But trust me folks, boyfriend versus girlfriend fishing challenge, it's coming in hot. Any other fire questions? And last question, what advice could I give you on how to tournament fish a little better? You are not very consistent. Now, Zach Richards asked that question, and I think it's a great question because oftentimes in high school, I found myself having the exact same issues, that some tournaments I would do really good and win some tournaments, and then other tournaments I would just bomb. And I don't exactly have a, a correct answer or a certain answer for you, um, but I can tell you that over my college experience so far, I have pretty well stayed in the top 30 really I think maybe top 20 or 30 percent uh, of, of tournament finishes and I think that is basically due to the the way that I fish on the water so of course I put in time pre-fishing I find areas that not only have fish in practice but also could have fish during the tournament and also I just love to fish hard I think a lot of guys out there especially you high school guys I hate to throw a, a broad blanket over some of you guys but I have fished high school tournaments and I've passed by guys before and I see them eating a sandwich halfway through the day, just sitting on the chair. And so in my opinion, you know, time to eat, time to goof off, whatever is on runs, but I love to fish as hard as I possibly can and my mind is, is always racing. Who's this? Keegan, how do you, how do you fish a tournament better? Um, consistency and passion. Consistency and passion, that's actually a pretty good answer right there. But that's kind of the answer I got for you guys is that you know you want to of course find fishing practice, but fishing hard during the tournament day is the best way you're gonna go about doing that. Ain't that right, Keegan? That's right. That's right, good stuff. So Q&A over, let's get to the outro. Well, how do you folks? And thanks for watching this video. I had an awesome time just hanging out with you guys here on the college vlog, showing you guys what my life is like on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, fishing is always a part of my life, but I love to show you guys what college life is like, what going to class is like, and of course, my brand new, oh my gosh, that was bad, Swagtron Swag Cycle Life. If you guys want to check this thing out, of course, this video was sponsored by Swagtron, and I'll have several videos coming out in the future, both with this bike and with a very other cool piece of technology that they have. So if you want to check out the Swagtron Swag Cycle bike that I was using in today's video, it'll be linked in the product description below, as well as in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video, Hit that little, that little like button down there. Hit that thing with your, uh, with your mouse. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.